video is to point people to the cross. This cross is on the side of a hill. This marker commemorates the first religious service in the Pensacola area. A mass celebrated on August 15th, 1559. The Feast of the Assumption by the Dom Dominican Friars who accompanied Tristan de Luna, erected by the Knights of Columbus, Pensacola Council, 1778. So this cross was erected, this commemorates the first religious service and this is on Pensacola Beach. I just want to encourage you, if you haven't asked Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, if you're not saved, give your heart to Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for your sins. Ask Jesus to forgive you for hurting him. Ask Jesus to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. He loves you. He has a wonderful plan for your life. Your sin separates you from God. Jesus Christ did not sin. He lived a perfect life. Jesus Christ died on Calvary's hill 2,000 years ago for the sins of all mankind to bring, bring them in the relationship with God Almighty. Jesus Christ gave his life. He surrendered it of his own free will. He died for sinners such as me. Jesus Christ can change your life if you surrender your life to him. He loves you. He died for you. Greater love have no man than this, that he'll lay down his life for his friends. But Jesus had the greatest love. He laid down his life for his enemies. Jesus Christ can change your life. Come to Jesus today. Pray a pray, repentance prayer. Ask Jesus to save you, to deliver you from your sins. Surrender your heart to Jesus today. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. The Bible says God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. You will find grace and mercy at the cross. Come to the cross today. Bow your knees in submission to a holy and mighty God. Bow your knee and surrender your heart to Jesus. Surrender your drugs. Surrender your alcohol. Surrender your depression. Your suicidal thoughts. Your worldliness. Surrender them to the cross. Jesus Christ was nailed to a cross. He suffered a terrible, agonizing death. Just like in the Passion, Jesus Christ was tortured, was scourged, was beaten, was slapped, was ridiculed, ridiculed for your sins. That you might have peace. The Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. If you need a healing from God, today ask God to heal you in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ can heal your body and your mind and your soul.
But the main thing is salvation. If you're not saved, give your heart to Jesus today. If you're backslid and come to Jesus while there's time, he will accept you. God will forgive you. He loves you. Come to the cross today and surrender your heart to Jesus Christ. Amen.